know is something that I've been meaning to learn for a while now. So in an attempt to learn it, I tried to make 5 games from scratch in 5 days using the Godot engine. Attempting to learn Godot by making 5 games in a time span of 5 days can be quite difficult. Especially when you don't know what you're doing. First day was all about learning the basics and how Godot actually functions and works. So I made this broken pong game. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Look at this shit! What? This taught me the basics of the Godot, the main workflow, and how the engine operates, etc. I also got a chance to use Godot's physics system, which is on par with Unity if you, well, know how to use it correctly. For the second day, I made a bad ripoff of Pop the Lock, a popular arcade game that I've actually never played before. Turns out I'm really bad at the game, so I just made the game play itself, and suddenly now I'm really good at the game. This taught me a lot about how transform works in Godot, especially the rotation, because the rotation is very different from Unity. For the third day, I made a Flappy Bird clone, but there's not really any flapping going around, so instead of calling it Flappy Bird, I'm just gonna call it Glide Bird. This taught me about the procedural generation in Godot, which works in a set seed by default. This basically means that if you don't randomize the seed before running the code, the result will be the same every seed. Time. For the fourth day, I made a rhythm game. <laughs> this taught me a lot more about collision, a little bit more about procedural generation, a little bit more about UI, and a little bit more about signals. Signals are basically a built-in observer pattern in Godot. It allows you to set the subject and the observer very easily, basically not having to implement your own observer pattern. This makes the communication between objects really easy. In this case, I used it to send a signal to update the UI. If you hit a note, then the points will go up by 100, but if you miss, it goes down by 50. The fifth and final day was making a very simple platformer. This made me use everything that I've learned so far, which was quite nice to test myself with. This taught me about Godot's kinematic body and Godot's tile map system, which I have to say I really like. It also taught me a little bit about animations in Godot. The tile set here is from Odd Potato Gift on itch.io. If you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description. And now it's time to exert <laughs> Be warned that most of these opinions are biased towards Unity because I'm just more familiar with Unity. Let's start with the pro. Godot is very lightweight and it's very fast. Godot's signal is so useful. Having a pre-implemented observer pattern in the engine itself is so convenient because it makes communication between objects extremely easy. Godot's user interface and Godot's workflow is very streamlined. There's just a bunch of tabs on top that you can switch to super fast and easily. The way Godot does scenes and components is very smart. From what I've learned so far, scenes and prefabs are basically the same thing, and components are children of the object instead. And now, for the cons. The biggest downside if you're coming over from Unity, in my opinion, is the fact that you can't see the values changing while you are running the game. And now I get it that this is a part of what makes Godot so lightweight and fast, but it makes debugging kind of a hassle. Believe it or not, that's the only bad thing I can really say about it. Overall, Godot is a very simple and good game engine that can do some very wonderful stuff. Anyways, that's the end of the video. This was quite nostalgic for me and it really reminded me of when I started to learn Unity. I hope you enjoyed the new editing style. Anyways, that's it from me and I hope you very much good luck on whatever you're learning.